Hey guys, it's Teacher Cams. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to animate your Bitmoji avatar using Google Slides. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So here's an example of a GIF that I used for a slide presentation for my students on how to join a quizzes game. You can see that it adds character to your presentation and your Bitmoji avatar gives it a wow factor. First, there are two things you'll need to be able to successfully animate your Bitmoji using Google Slides. It is the Creator Studio add-on and the Bitmoji extension in Chrome. I'll explain these two later as we go further into this tutorial. To start, on a new tab, you're going to go to Google Slides, click on New Presentation, and title it Bitmoji Animation. You'll need a blank slide, so click, hold, and drag to highlight the text box then delete or backspace to get rid of that title box. Now, you need to lay out your scene first. In my example, I used a laptop screen and overlaid the screenshots of my browser to be able to show all the steps on how to join a quizzes game. So, in here, you get to decide how you want to design your background scene depending on your needs and your preference. To start designing our background scene, you need to go to Background, Choose Image, Google Image Search, and then type in Wall and Floor Background. So there's a lot of choices to play with. You just choose which one catches your eye the most and then click on it, Insert, and then Done. Any image will automatically adjust itself according to the size of your canvas. I do want to change the color of my wall, so I'm going to go to text box, highlight the whole area of the wall, and then I'm going to fill it with the color that I prefer, so it makes the room brighter. And then I'm also going to go to border, and then click transparent. In designing your background scene, you can use different elements such as whiteboard, desk, sofa, wall painting, window, etc. To do that, you are going to go to insert, image, and then search the web. One important thing to note here is that you include the word transparent in your search. So it gives you a PNG image that has no background. Once you're happy with an element, you can just click and drag it inside your slide to place it. And then you can resize it however you want and place it wherever you want. If you wish to crop an image, right-click it, crop image, a black border will appear. And then go ahead, remove the edges. And then once you're happy with it, you can click outside the border to save the changes that you've made. I'm going to show you how to add the first few elements of my scene. Then I'll speed up the process. Otherwise, this video is going to be a million hours long and we'll, we're going to be here for a thousand years. When you're choosing an image and placing it in your scene, just keep in mind the size and scaling of each element so it doesn't look weird. Thank you. 
for the window, I wanted to place a scenery that would show the outside world. I'll go ahead, adjust, and crop the image of the scenery so that it fits perfectly with my window. To crop the image faster, you can just double click on the image and then the black box appears automatically and then you can just go ahead and crop the image. So once you're happy with the resizing of your image, you can see that it's blocking the window totally. So in order to fix that, you can just go to Arrange, Order, and then send backward. You can also use the text box and that empty space in the whiteboard to display a message if you want to. Once you're happy with your background scene, we are going to duplicate that slide several times. Um, in here, I started with 7 but I ended up with, I think, 12. So to do that, you have to right-click the first slide and then just duplicate. Now for the fun part! Um, I already have the Bitmoji extension installed up here already. So if you don't have that yet, the first thing to do is just go to your Chrome Web Store and search for the Bitmoji extension for Chrome and then add it to your browser. Um, it will ask you to log in with your Bitmoji account or your Snapchat account. Either one will do. Essentially, we're just going to do a flipbook style animation. So the first thing to do is click on your first slide. Make sure that's the one selected. And I'm going to start with a peaking bitmoji. So I'm going to go ahead and type the word peak. And then several images will appear. I will choose the one that I like. And then it's either you right-click, choose copy, or even drag and drop it to your slide. Either one is perfectly fine. Of course, you would want to scale your Bitmoji avatar according to the size of the elements and your background scene so it doesn't come out weird. So after that's done, you can go ahead and proceed to your next slide. To search for the perfect Bitmojis to animate, make sure you use keywords that would show the motion that you would want to animate. Um, in here, you can just see me um, use the words or keywords um, walk in um, dancing dabbing um, sitting there would be bitmojis that um, you would want to face the other direction to do that you have to right click on the image and then copy paste it onto the next slide and then click on arrange and then rotate and then flip horizontally. I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the slides. Um, you will just see me um, duplicating and flipping the image horizontally several times.
Now that we've filled in all of your slides with your Bitmoji avatar, we will now proceed to the animation process. So we will go to Creator Studio. Um, if you don't have this yet, it's uh, very easy to install. So you just go to add-ons, um, type it in, and it's free. It would automatically install, and you just need to give it permission. So before we do the animation, um, make sure to check back on your slides. Um, just scroll uh, backward and forward just to make sure that the motion uh, you want to animate is all good to go. So finally, once you're okay with your slides, go to Creator Studio, create GIF, and then it would launch the Creator Studio in the side panel. Once the Creator Studio launches in the side panel, uh, it would take a second to load. There are a few settings that you have to remember. Um, the output within pixels make it 1600 and then the interval in seconds set it to 0.5 a second or half a second and then make sure animated gif is selected and then just click go creator studio will take a few seconds to complete the rendering of your animated gif once that's done um, it would automatically upload your animated GIF to your Google Drive. Now that our animation is complete, you can click on it and see if it came out perfectly just the way you want it to. And there you have it. That's how you animate your Bitmoji avatars using Google Slides. Now, there are multiple ways to use this Bitmoji or animated Bitmoji GIF. Um, one way is to download it by clicking on the downward facing arrow. And then once you've downloaded your animated GIF, you can upload it to your social media and then show it to your friends. But uh, as a student, uh, this is how I would prefer you to use it. Um, you can see in my example, um, I, I've used my animated GIF as an intro to my uh, quizzes uh, presentation slide. So you can do that as well by clicking on new presentation. And then you have to again start with a blank presentation. And then insert image. And then upload from computer. And then look for the Bitmoji animation you just downloaded. And then resize it according to the size of your canvas. Lastly, I would go back to the Bitmoji animation slide. And then I would copy the background scene that we've created in there. And then paste it to the new presentation I'm working on. And then I would duplicate it multiple times so that I have a blank background scene where I could put my other contents in. So that was it guys. We've come to the end of this video tutorial. I hope um, this was helpful. Give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Bye!